Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Honorable host, honorable judges, all participants and audience My name is Dina Aulia Rohima from MTS Darul Ulum, the E-Grader I'd like to tell you a story of Indonesian legend with the title The Legend of Sito Bagendit Nyai Bagendit was a widow She was the richest person in the village She had a very big house filled with a lot of jewelry She also had many servants working for her. Nyai Bagan was also known for her bad attitude. She did not like to help others. Whenever the villager needed some money, they borrowed the money from her. However, when they returned it, the villager had to pay double. If they were not able to return the debt, Nyai Bagan would ask the servant to take the villager's belongings. Nyai Bagendit also hated beggars. She told that beggars were lazy people. She never felt sorry to any beggars coming to her house. So, when the old beggar came to her house, Nyai Bagendit immediately asked her to go. Go away, you lazy old woman. Go out of my house. Please, Nyai, give me some money, or just give me some food. I'm so hungry. Food? You ask for food? This is my house, not a restaurant. Go now, I don't want to see you here. Nyai Bagendit, I know you are the richest in this village. You have anything, but you never help other people. You are not grateful to God. Wait for punishment from God. You will be punished. <laughs> you are right. I am the richest person here. So, no one can punish me. Not even God can punish me. Nyai Bagendit was very arrogant. Nyai Bagendit then back to her big house. Not long after that, an earthquake happened. Her house fell down. Nyai Bagendit cried for help. Help me! Somebody please help me! But nobody listened her crying for help. Nobody in the village felt the earthquake. Amazingly, the earthquake only happened in Nyai Bagendit house. The land was open. It was so big, the entire Nyai Bagendit house, and her what went gone. The villager just watched what happened in Nyai Bagendit and her house. They were amazed. They knew that God punished Nyai Bagendit for behaving badly and never help other people. Slowly, the place where Nyai Bagendit stood became lake. Since then, people named the lake a Situ Bagendit. It means lack of bargain. The value of the story is we mustn't arrogant to other people and help each other. Thank you and wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.